Today's topic is listening. In Surah Al-A'raf, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala tells us, وَإِذَا قُرِيَ الْقُرْآنُ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ وَأَنْسِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ When the Qur'an is being recited, listening closely to it and remain silent so that perhaps you may gain God's mercy. This verse is absolutely amazing because what it's teaching us is an important aspect of all of our relationships. Of course, the quintessential relationship that we need to perfect listening with is how to listen to Allah. And so therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us there's two things we need to do when we're receiving messages from Allah. The first thing is we need to learn how to listen. We need to be present with the speaker. We need to be present with the Quran. And the second thing, in order to build that presence, in order to listen closely, is silence. Be quiet. Isn't it amazing how prior to the revelation coming, the Prophet ﷺ loved to go to the cave of Hira and sit there in silence? Away from the echoes and the noise of the city life, it was there that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared the Prophet ﷺ to listen to the first revelation. So there's two types of noise I think we need to really think about. There's the external environmental noise. So we need silence. We need quiet places to reflect on the Quran. We need to put our phones away. We need to turn off the devices. We need to remove all the distractions around us so that we can be in a place of silence. That's why we go to libraries and places like this to study. But there's another type of silence that is equally important. And that's the inner silence. How many times has someone been talking to you and while they're talking, your mind is in a thousand places? Your mouth is quiet, but your mind isn't quiet. One of the most important aspects of becoming a good listener, Ibn Ajiba in his tafsir under this verse, he says the reason that you need to adopt silence is so that you can reflect on what's being said. Now, as I said before, this applies to our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but it also applies to our relationships with other people as well. And when you study how the Prophet sallallahu interacted with people, what you'll notice is that he was an amazing listener. He was there, he was present, and he remained silent while people spoke. This is the quality that we are being taught in this verse. So in this month of Ramadan, I want you to think of one last thing. One of the greatest ibadahs or worships that we do in this month is simply learning how to be a good listener. Look at Salat al-Tarawi. Look at the Prophet Sallallahu in his recitation to Gabriel and Gabriel's recitation to him. He would recite, but then he would listen to the recitation. This month of Ramadan is a month where we learn how to become better listeners. How do we do that? We become present and we remove all the noise, whether it be external or whether it be internal. May Allah make us good listeners of the Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Qalam is dedicated to the mission of making the knowledge of this beautiful religion of Islam accessible to everyone. From the millions of people listening to the podcast, to the hundreds of thousands of people watching these videos, to the tens of thousands of people that are taking online classes, and so much more work that Qalam is doing, we here at Qalam are committed to continuing this good work. And this is where you come in. We're asking you to partner with us to secure your sadaqah jariya of all the people that have benefited from Qalam, continue to learn from Qalam, and inshallah in the future will continue to learn and benefit from all the work that Qalam inshallah will continue to do. Please go to supportqalam.com and donate generously. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. Wassalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.